I know a lot of you absolutely love the last Pinterest affiliate marketing tutorial. So today we're gonna get into a more in-depth step-by-step so I can go over all of the questions that were left unanswered in the last video. In this video, you're gonna be learning how to make $10,000 a month with Pinterest. So that includes learning how to pick a profitable niche, how to find high converting affiliate products, and how to correctly tag these pins to promote your chosen product. The best thing is you don't need any experience or any money to get this all set up. All you're gonna need is Wi-Fi and a laptop or a phone, and that's about it. By the end of this video, you're gonna I have my exact zero to ten thousand dollar strategy so you can go off and make those sweet commissions asap now before we get into the video you know the drill let me quickly introduce myself for those of you who are new here hi i'm g and i'm here to help you run up a bag online so you can live the laptop lifestyle you deserve now if that sounds good go ahead and drop me a laptop emoji down in the comments and let's get right into the video so i feel like most of you do know what affiliate marketing is but for those of you who are completely new to this affiliate marketing is basically a business model where you promote someone else's products or services and earn a commission for every sale or referral we make. Now, why should you choose Pinterest for affiliate marketing specifically? Well, with over 450 million monthly users, Pinterest remains one of the best free traffic methods out there right now. So you never have to spend a single penny on ads. Firstly, what you'll need to do is choose your niche. Choosing the right niche is essential for affiliate marketing. And trust me, over the years, I've had a lot of hits and misses, but it's really a simple formula when it comes down to Pinterest. What you need to be aiming for is niches that you know have very visually appealing products in them. And what I mean by that is things like let's say fashion or interior design or food or even fitness basically niches that you know you can collect aesthetic images to promote your product to give you a real life example because a lot of you have asked me why i don't actually have a finance based pinterest and that's simply because there weren't that many people that were turning to pinterest for finance advice so it was a lot harder for my pins to go viral and when they did they barely got any conversions at this moment in time my top performing pinterest accounts are in the lifestyle and the home decor niches and these two accounts alone are exactly what got me to $14,000 in one month. Once you've decided on a niche, you need to find good affiliate products. I know one of the main questions that was asked the most under my last video was what affiliate program specifically to sign up for. And I honestly can't tell you because it really depends on your niche. This is where you're gonna have to go off and do your own research to find the top affiliate programs in your chosen niche. Because there's significantly better paying programs than the Amazon Partner Program, for example. Now you can find products on affiliate marketplaces like ClickBank or Amazon. Or what you can do that I personally recommend is you go on Google and type in best affiliate programs in your chosen niche. So you actually have to go off and find that yourself, which like I said, can be done very quickly with a Google search. And to clarify, you get these links from these platforms that you signed up for. So if you decide that you wanna promote a product that's on Amazon you would sign up for the Amazon affiliate program and the Amazon affiliate program is where you're going to be generating your link that you can put on your Pinterest and also this is the platform that you're going to be getting paid from this goes for any other platform that you decide to sign up for so make sure that you put in your bank details or your PayPal so you don't miss out on a payout obviously they're not going to take your money they'll just hold it until you add your bank details but yeah once you find some products that you would like to promote in your niche whatever program they might be on you'll want to generate the links and put them to one side for now so so you can move into optimizing your Pinterest account. Now having a good Pinterest account is important because while people still buy products without ever actually seeing your page first, you do still want to build a following and in order for people to follow you, they need to like what they're seeing. Now before any kind of customization, you want to make sure that you switch over to a business account if you haven't done that already and you can do this in the account settings. Now from here you want to add an image or a logo related to your niche as your profile picture and your banner. Everything has to look nice and cohesive so you can quickly design this on Canva or Kittle using the pre-made template. Try to stick to one aesthetic or one color palette for your profile picture and your banner and definitely if you happen to use a logo or you have text in your banner make sure that you're not using more than three fonts because then it will look very messy a pro tip as well is to revamp the name pinterest themselves will assign you with a username that will look something like this so you want to go back in and come up with a name that doesn't have like numbers or weird letters in it and for your actual name you'll want to add some keywords so for example with a brand new pinterest i'll put glow with gear and then digital marketer or affiliate marketing or keywords that are actually searchable. What this does is make your username search engine optimized. You have the opportunity to rank in the search which means you'll get way more eyes to your content. This is also the case for your bio so you need to make something short, sweet, simple and definitely with a few keywords. The goal of your bio is to kind of give people an idea of what they're signing up for if they happen to follow you. For this you can add a few bullet points into chat GPT and ask it to write you a short bio. You don't have to spend too much time on this and then you can move into setting up some boards. Now over the past few years I've really learned the importance of having good boards because back then I wasn't too informed so I was just throwing random pins into random boards that weren't very like specialized in anything but what I do now that 100% works is I go to Pinterest trends now on here you can do research on trends in your niche so a hack I use 
use is to name boards after the top searches in my niche because my board is likely to come up when people search for these keywords and that obviously means I'll get way more eyes to my Pinterest and of course I'm more likely to get sales. My best advice is that you have a minimum of 5 to 10 Pinterest boards with at least 20 pins in them that relate directly to the board name. So what I used to do back then for example was let's just say streetwear so this would be one board by itself. Now I create boards that are like cargo pants specifically or leather jackets specifically or kitten heels specifically it has to be like a very specific type of board and also another thing that you need to make sure of is to definitely add an eye-catching picture as the cover for your board but you can go ahead and select whatever catches your eye because obviously you would know best and from here you can move into some growth strategy obviously we can all agree that the best way to grow on pinterest is to post a lot of pins consistently and by a lot of pins i mean around two to five per day but the question is what types of pins should you be posting i actually went through all of the pin styles that i post on my pinterest so you can go ahead and check them out in this video right here what i typically post is either unique pins or repurposed pins now by unique pins i mean pins that i've actually created so to create these pins i use the templates on kittle or canva or what i do is repurpose content that i find from tiktok instagram or tumblr my absolute favorite place is instagram because typically you'll find fresher content so you're more likely to go viral because it's new to the pinterest platform if you do happen to go this way always make sure that you credit the creators though and also a top tip is that if you choose to repurpose content from tiktok on your pinterest make sure that you remove the watermark this should go without saying because you know that if you walked into burger king with a happy meal in your hand you probably wouldn't get kicked out but people would definitely be side eyeing you that's the exact same thing with pinterest if you're on their platform promoting a whole other social media platform your account won't get banned or deleted but they'll definitely be side eyeing you and what will typically happen is that they'll limit your reach so just make sure that you use something like tick save to remove watermarks before you upload your pins now when it comes to actually uploading this content i recommend that you use a nice mix of standard pins and idea pins one thing i've noticed from all of my accounts and all of the accounts that i've actually run for other people in the past is that idea pins are the best type of pins that you can post on pinterest if you're trying to expand your reach so definitely put a lot of focus on those idea pins are definitely what got me the most amount of followers and views to my account keep in mind that with standard pins however you have the option of tagging products and adding your custom links to them so these pins are basically going to be your money maker to give your standard pins the best chance of going viral i recommend and as long as this sounds this is definitely going to increase your reach that you describe everything that you're seeing in the content so as an example for how i would tag this pin of me on holiday is i would describe exactly everything i'm seeing in the picture like i said so there's a knit dress the knit dress is orange there's braids it's an aesthetic nature shot and so on you get the gist now the reason why i do this for i would say all but that's not true sometimes i do get lazy but the reason why i do this for most of my pins is because you have to understand that pinterest is literally just a really good search engine so if people type in knit dress i'm likely to show up if they type in orange knit dress i'm likely to show up if they type in nature aesthetic i'm likely to show up and the great thing is i'm not just likely to show up on pinterest itself but also google because pinterest images actually do show up on google search when you click on images so you're literally maximizing your exposure because i know that the main thing that i would have been promoting in this pin would be orange knit dress i would add my custom affiliate link for the orange knit dress and i'll put in the description that there's a link for the orange knit dress in the pin so if people come across my pin on pinterest or google from them searching knit dress and they see that my link is there and then they go off and buy it i make a commission off that purchase now this actually leads me perfectly into the next part which is where you're going to learn exactly how to add your affiliate links to your pinterest so you can make some sweet commission so there's three ways that i go around putting my affiliate links on my pinterest so one way is i always have a link in my profile now this link is either a landing page or a beacons link or link tree or something like that this is where i direct people to the top products that i'm trying to connect them to the good thing about having a landing page in your profile is that you can collect your potential customers emails so you can reconnect with them in the future and i 100 recommend it because i've made a lot of back-end sales from my email list so to help you out here i have actually created a landing page template that you can go ahead and claim down in my description it's 100 free and you also get a free trial to block me but yeah the second way that i sprinkle my affiliate links into my pinterest and it's the exact method that currently generates me the highest conversions and that is whenever i upload a pin instead of adding the affiliate link right here which is what everyone does i will tag it using this tool right here so the affiliate products will literally show up on the pin this is going to minimize the steps between the potential customers and the product because understand that the more steps someone has to take the less likely they are to make that purchase because then they'll have the time to reconsider and think you know what do i really need this and that's why so many of us are impulsive spenders because even tiktok shop and stuff like that they have the links just there that you can quickly check out with and that's exactly how these companies get you to spend money but yeah for this you literally just grab your affiliate link 
add the tag right here and then paste it this is what it's going to look like when it's done one thing i wanted to quickly address from the last video is that you can paste your affiliate links directly into this tag on part your account will not get flagged up for spam if you do this what i usually do however is i put my links through genius link just so that i can track exactly where the traffic is coming from and the final way that i put my affiliate links on my pinterest is the generic way which is literally just adding the links directly to the pin now this is very effective but you will need to shorten your link but if you're doing this you will need a beacons link or a landing page or even put your link through genius link because if you copy and paste your affiliate link directly from your affiliate program your pins will probably flag up in the system and you could get your account banned so it's definitely not worth putting your account at risk a bonus way i wanted to mention because i noticed that a lot of people on pinterest somehow don't see the tag products or the link from the pin so what i recommend that you do is you stay on top of the comments a lot of the time you'll see people asking where to get a specific product featured in the pin so you can reply to those comments with your link so you don't miss out on any commission so now we've covered the three pinterest tagging methods that you need to know about so now we can move into the last quick tips that i wanted to quickly share with you that will definitely help you scale your pinterest and the first one is to utilize canva pro to help you batch create and post content now this graphic design platform right here allows you to connect it to your pinterest account and it has a content planner that allows you to schedule and automate your pinterest pin this saves you a ton of time because instead of you having to be on pinterest every single day posting manually which is what i was doing at the start you can just dedicate a day or two to scheduling the content for the month so you're not tied down to manually posting on your pinterest you can literally just schedule and then lay back for the rest of the month and then go again the next month another tip is to use freelancers to outsource some of the work now at some point your pinterest is going to generate enough money for you to be able to pay someone else to manage it for you so this is going to give you more time and energy to focus on how you can open up more streams of income for yourself i have a pinterest manager at the moment that manages my biggest account on pinterest and she literally creates the boards she creates the pins she pins them there for me she engages with my audience and this is an amazing investment because i've been able to focus on other ways that i can monetize my other pinterest accounts the final tip i want to give you before i let you just run off this is by far the most important advice that i could possibly give you when it comes to running your pinterest and that is to understand that consistency and patience is the key i've had a ton of emails and dms of people asking me why they haven't made any money they've been pinning for a whole week but what i need you to understand is that making money with pinterest can take some time you need to warm up to the algorithm you need to build that steady traffic you need to be engaging with your audience and you'll need to make a few mistakes before you can actually start making some money and realistically that doesn't normally happen in a week if it was that easy everyone and their parents would be posting on pinterest instead of having a nine to five just know that this is a proven strategy so you have nothing to worry about just stick with it for a few months and you're bound to see results and speaking of i just wanted to publicly congratulate one of my subscribers amara that commented under my last video and let me know that she made her first ever commission with this sale i hope this gives you guys some motivation because this is really one of the most simple business models out there right now and just in case you actually plan on taking pinterest seriously i know for a fact you're gonna love this video right here where i teach you seven ways to monetize your pinterest account right now as a complete beginner but yeah that's all from me if you enjoyed the video please hit that like and subscribe button peace and love and i'll catch you in the next one in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be sharing with you a side hustle that can make you over $5,000 every single month in passive income. It can be done from anywhere in the world, has zero startup costs, and you don't need to have any experience to get this all up and running. This method can make you a lot of money very, very quickly, and you don't need any money to start this up. You don't even need a following. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to steal traffic and make thousands while doing so.